Are you experiencing connectivity problems such as being unable to join online matches or play together with your friends? If you are, your Nintendo Switch may have a NAT type problem. In this video, we'll show you how to change the NAT type of your console with port forwarding. In order to make your Nintendo Switch accessible to other consoles on the internet, you want to ultimately get NAT type of this is achieved by port forwarding. There are three network information that you need. IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. On your Windows computer, select the search bar in the lower left corner and type some CMD into the search bar. Select command prompt. Type ip config all and press enter. Your network's IP information should now be displayed in a list. Scroll through the list to find the IPv4 address or IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Once you have the needed network information, take out your Nintendo Switch and go to the home screen. Open system settings. Select internet. Select internet settings. Go to the advanced settings of your network. If you are using Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi network. Select change settings. Find IP address settings and select it. Select manual. Select IP address and then hold down the B button to delete the existing IP address. It defaults to zeros. Enter the IP address that you get from your computer. Then change the last digits of the IP address by adding 30. For example, if your computer's IP address is 192.168.2.10, the IP address that you should enter on your switch should be 192.168.2.30. Enter in the subnet mask as it appears in your network settings and then select OK. Enter in the default gateway as it appears in your network settings, and then select OK. Now that you've changed your console's IP address to static, you are ready to change the settings in your router to finish the port forwarding process. From this point on, we can only provide general steps on what you need to do. Each router has its own way to access its settings. If you have no idea how to go into your router settings, consult its manual or contact the manufacturer. Once you've logged into your router's GUI or graphical user interface, find the location where you can do port forwarding. The exact location depends on your router, but port forwarding settings are typically found in firewall, virtual server, security, applications, or gaming. In port forwarding section, make sure to use Nintendo Switch if it asks for application name. This makes it easier for you to identify your Nintendo Switch setup if you need to modify some settings later. Then, you want to ensure that you enter the correct UDP protocol port range. Enter the starting port and the ending port to forward. For the Nintendo Switch console, this is port 1 through 65535. Afterwards, enter the IP address you assigned to the console. Then, check enable or apply to turn on this rule. Make sure that you save the changes before closing your router GUI. Make sure to check if your Nintendo Switch is now getting that type of by running an internet connection test. Just go to System Settings, Internet, Test Connection. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe to know our latest videos in the future.